Hi Faith families, we are so excited that even though we can't gather together in person, we can still gather around God's word and learn from his word. And today and during our whole Lent series, we have been keeping our eyes focused on Jesus as we look at the people in the Easter story and how they saw Jesus, but most importantly, how Jesus looks at us with love and forgiveness. And so today we're gonna to talk about Peter and how he denied Jesus, but how Jesus still looks at him with forgiveness and love, just like he looks at us. So our Bible story for today comes from the book of Mark chapter 14. And it's the, Peter, the story of Peter um, and Jesus. And it says, the disciples went to the Mount of Olives. You will turn away, Jesus told the disciples, for it is written, I will strike down the shepherd. Then the sheep will be scattered. But after I rise from the dead, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. Peter said, the others may turn away, but not I. Jesus said, what I'm about to tell you is true. It will happen today. In fact, before the rooster crows, you yourself will say three times that you don't know me. But Peter would not give in. He said, I may have to die with you, but I will never say I don't know you. And all of the others said the same thing. Later that night, Peter was in the courtyard, and one of the high priest's servants came by, and she saw Peter, and she looked closely at him. You were with Jesus, she said, but Peter said he did not know Jesus. I don't know what you are talking about, he said. Then he went out to the entrance, and another servant saw him, and he said, you were with Jesus. Again, he said he was not. After a while, those standing next to Peter said, you must be one of the disciples. Then Peter began to curse. He said to them, I don't know the man you are talking about. Right away, the rooster crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said to him. The rooster will crow. Before it does, you will say three times that you don't know me. And Peter broke down and cried. So Peter was one of Jesus' disciples, and he loved Jesus so much. But sometimes Peter said things before he thought about what he was going to say. And one of those times was when he said to Jesus that he would never turn away from Jesus. But that's not what happened in our story, right? Three times Peter said that he did not know who Jesus was, exactly like what Jesus said. And sometimes we say that we don't believe in Jesus either. Just like Peter denied Jesus, sometimes we turn against Jesus too. And that happens when we sin and we do the things that God doesn't want us to do. But just like Jesus forgave Peter after he rose from the dead, Peter forgives all of us too. So I brought a little visual with me today to kind of help explain. And we all have our hearts. And when we sin and we turn against Jesus, our hearts get broken and they get broken into pieces and it separates us from God. Our sin is the things that Jesus doesn't want us to do, but we do them anyway. But because Jesus came to the world, he died on the cross and he rose again, Jesus forgives us just like he forgave Peter. And he begins to put our hearts back together again. But Jesus doesn't just forgive us, Jesus forgives everyone so that all hearts are put back together with the love and the forgiveness of Jesus. So tonight I want you to talk with your families about what are some ways that you can share the good news of Jesus with others. Peter didn't, believe, didn't know that Jesus would rise from the dead, but we do. And we know that Jesus comes to forgive us and to love us so that we can be in heaven with him one day.